to Horrible Gaming. Today we're building a Dollar Tree. Before we get started, please like our video. Thank you for watching. Alrighty, thank you so much to my sweet little girl for doing the entry to our Dollar Tree video for today. She really wanted to do this video's entry being that Dollar Tree is her absolute favorite store in the whole wide world. So I hope y'all enjoyed that in the beginning of this video. All codes that I'm using today will be found in the video's description. And thanks again for hanging out with me today. I hope y'all enjoy this build. We're actually on my newest island, which is completely inspired by in real life places. So this island will consist of pretty much every real life place that I enjoy and on the side of that we'll do speed builds too of course of y'all's requests. With that being said let's go ahead and get today's video started. If you don't know some of the items that I'm using today don't worry I've left you an important link in the video's description too. This link will list out pretty much every single item we got in the recent 2.0 update and more. So definitely check that out if the speed build is too quick and you can't figure out what items I'm using it's definitely a helpful resource heck I even use that during my building because sometimes I forget all the great items we got so my recent favorite thing to do on almost all of my city cores is by doing this little sign in front of the store just like we have in real life I have been enjoying this little detail so much lately so if you don't want to do that you absolutely can skip it but I'm trying to keep this build pretty realistic so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do that so while we're on the topic of Dollar Tree, it actually just reminded me of several weird experiences I've had there. Keep in mind, I love Dollar Tree, I always will. But there was this one time, and I think this was maybe a year ago, and I was shopping and doing my thing. Now, I'm sure the employees there know my face pretty well because I'm always over there at least, you know, several times a week. And I was just doing my daily shopping and I had like this employee come up to me. Now, imagine this and put your shoes into my position and I'm just doing my thing. And this lady comes up to me, standing like to the side of me. I'm pretty sure it was like my left side and uh, no eye contact, super awkward, right? And she whispers in my ear, you look different today. And I was like, okay, uh, I didn't even know what to say, honestly. I just kind of like smiled nervously and I was like, yep, I'm gonna die today. And <laughs> anyway, so I just, I don't know, it was really weird. So I don't know, I think maybe three weeks passed by and once again, doing my shopping, doing my own thing. And out of nowhere, same lady, I don't even know where she came from. She's like Batman, just shows up out of nowhere. And she's like, there you go, looking different again with her weird creepy whisper thing. And that was the last time I've ever seen her. Like she does not work there anymore. I have no idea where she went. And yeah, that was my very first weird experience at a Dollar Tree. Honestly, I've just kind of accepted that in my life, I will just have weird experiences at grocery stores. It's just bound to happen always. But I've been stuck at home ever since due to, you know, all the stuff going on in the world. And I really haven't had any experiences with human contact besides my own family. I know I'm not really probably missing out on too much, but I miss going out and shopping. I miss just shopping in general. So yeah, and that's the crappy part about the last year. So hopefully, hopefully everything will go better this year. That's my fingers are crossed for it at least. Anyways, yeah, so back to the video. Uh, unless you want to hear more weird stories that happen to me in real life, just let me know in the comment section. I got plenty of awkward experiences to share with you. Uh, that's it for today's episode on Horrible Gaming Podcasts. Okay, anyways, so uh, all the codes, like I said earlier, will be found in the video's description. And I'm just gonna go in a simple tile transition over here, and then I'm just gonna use hedges and kinda do an entryway with this. So you can definitely decorate this build however you choose to, but I'm just gonna do it the way that I enjoy doing it. So even though my local Dollar Tree experiences have been obviously really interesting. This whole entry in design is actually inspired by that Dollar Tree. So I wanted to take inspo for this, obviously because it's, you know, reminds me of my own home. You can definitely do however, you know, style that you prefer the best, but I just really wanted to keep it traditional. 
And of course today we're making use of the wide display shelf again. If you're new to my channel, get used to seeing me use this item. I'm completely obsessed with it. I love how it makes builds feel super realistic. I definitely recommend this if you're going for a realistic build. It's just one of my absolute favorite items, not to mention it lights up at night. So it makes your builds feel even more real, especially during the nighttime. So yeah, our main base is almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and do several transitions cause the rest of the build is pretty straightforward. Next, we're gonna hide the terraform and this is just gonna hide all that grass and stuff and make it feel a little bit more realistic, especially if there is some item loading going on eventually. I just prefer covering my terraform. You can totally skip that if you want to, but I just like to do that extra minor detail. Also, you're gonna notice on one of the wide display shelves, the terraform is kind of peeking through. I ended up hiding that with a LCD TV. This is a glitch with them lately that I've been noticing. It's been also happening with several other items. I'm hoping they fix this eventually because sometimes it screws up my builds. I can't always use an item to hide that. So hopefully something gets solved with this because it's super aggravating when I have to try to hide uh, you know, clipping like that. But I've never had that issue until recently. Anyways, let's get some decorating done and I'll tune back in in a few minutes to let y'all know what else is gonna be happening for the rest of this video. So over here by the right side, I'm gonna make this into like an unloading area. It's gonna be full of trash and boxes. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with the trash items on this game, so I am definitely gonna clutter with a bunch of boxes over here for that reason. It also just makes it feel a little bit more realistic, like today is the truck day and everybody's unloading stuff. So every time I see my local Dollar Tree get their truck in, there's boxes literally everywhere and I swear those boxes stay for weeks and then they find their way inside of the store in the aisles. So uh, yeah, these boxes just stay forever. So we are gonna go nuts with the boxes. Now that I've finished that little area, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few more cars in here just for realism vibes and also some minor details. Keep in mind, if you don't wanna have to use as many items like I am today, you can definitely decorate this however you choose to, but I'm just super into adding a lot of detail. So again, feel free to make any edits as needed. Next, I'm gonna make it look like someone's unloading their groceries into their car right here. I just really thought that was a cute minor detail. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add a decoy duck by the sign. I wanna use a lot of ducks just for realism. So again, if you don't wanna use those, totally skip them. I'm gonna be using also the poster stand and that is gonna be for my stop signs and my one-way signs. I actually found these two things on Criteria Search, but I'll go ahead and list the MA codes too in the video's description in case you want them. Once I finish these flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and transition to my entry to show y'all how this new city island is starting to look. I'm really excited about this because I've never ever 
have done an island that is completely based off of realism. I mean, I love the cartoony vibes Animal Crossing has, but this is different for me and I'm very excited about that. So this is how my roads are starting to angle. As you can see, I totally took inspo from my Tropical Islands entry. I really love just the angled highway look. So I thought putting this onto my realistic island would be super fun. Then I made another angled road from that highway, which was something that I didn't do on my tropical and I ended up absolutely loving how that looks. So I think I'm gonna go nuts with the road angles on this island. This build is not interactive, but if you want to make it interactive, feel free to take inspiration from my Target video. I'll have it linked at the end of this video. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video. Have a horrible day. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Discord donators and boosters this month. Y'all are amazing and rock. Thank you so much for supporting my channel.